after trauma of oral mucosa occur daily during cutting and how are how are bleeding in such cases quickly stops because of this question has been given actually over the website of our, our team or my aspirant and it had that brilliant students have given it hundred or thousands times this answer from the classroom so i don't find it useful to tell you just the simple concept that thromoplastin have plastin have ability to form the clot ab i'm just explaining other lysozyme act as antibacterial because it degenerate de the cell wall heparin anticoagulant anticoagulant act okay anti coagulant mucin here not that much impact over the oral mucosa heparin similarly heparin anti factor heparin they are heparin they actually world in in the blood system now moving to the next question it says a person in a state of rest forcefully uh, forcibly make his own respiration and frequent 3 4 time how does it affect the acid base meta acid base balance of the body now the question it has been given that uh, state of rest first part forcefully make its own deep respiration and frequent for 3 to 4 minute what is going to happen that simply means that what we do in the normal condition like a state of rest means body is not do doing a lot so like any kind of physical exercise so no need first of all you have to remember this here take this okay now he makes his own respiration deep and in deep and frequent what will result it will result increase in oxygen okay again and again oxygen will go to the mm, go to the alveoli i mean to the capillaries and deep means it is getting much more time to to like to exchange and also the second thing is that uh, temperature but it is negligible so most important what you have to keep in mind that oxygen will be increase in the alveoli now how it will affect the acid base balance now what is this situation in this situation we are talking about alveoli so the most important it is related it is related to the respiratory system so answer is going to be from the, from this either this okay now the difference between acidosis and uh, alkalosis if you remember in class i told you that whenever co2 increased then it relate to the acidosis when o2 only increase then that is related to the alkalosis i gave the full description in the class so i am not repeating here so here alkalosis respiratory alkalosis will be developed okay now moving toward the next question it says that uh, uh, a patient present with the tosses dropping eyelid and uh, divergent strabismus, strabismus and disturb accommodation dilation pupil it indicate the damage of the nuclei of the certain part of the cranial nerve and uh, what pair of the nerve have been damaged okay those who have learned the neuroanatomy because in lecture i told you also it is okay for you and you will close your eye and go for the answer according to my trick that is facial nerve but those who don't know let me explain you that this part is it is telling here dropping eyelid means this part okay tosses and strabismus disturb accommodation all these things they related to the this part of eye okay don't be confused from the oculometer why because facial nerve have their innervations to the lower eyelid part so it is the for better understanding you can go for the neuroanatomy lecture now uh, the next question says that a patient with the bronchial asthma develop the acute respiratory insufficiency what type of respiratory insufficiency will be will be there 
in the question itself that a patient is having bronchial asthma and also the next one is that acute respiratory insufficiency what type of respiratory insufficiency delivered in this case whenever there is bronchial asthma if you remember in class i told you that there is a tracheal system okay in case of asthma what happened there is a damage of this body so what happened that gases leak from the closed system and that's why there is percussion you listen crackling of sound so it is obstruction so the simple trick is that obstruction means something which is which is like a, a broken okay so according to if you use the my class trick so simply it's going to be this answer and it was very easy to solve my for my question for my students right now this question says the next question it says that here a patient the mo uh, the molecule of a mature mrna are carried out the genetic information about the sequence in which certain amino acids must attach to each other what is the codon in the mrna molecule what is coded in the mrna molecule for my students it was the easiest one what happened that uh, dna when form dna that is replication dna to rna that is form of the trans that is in process known as transcription rna to formation of protein that is translation okay in translation formation there is formation of protein now protein as in my class i told you they have primary secondary tertiary and quaternary in structure a structure in primary structure there is joining of amino acid and amino acid in secondary structure they, i mean also i told you this in amyloid lecture that they have two d fold in uh, like uh, uh, they will have alpha helix and beta plated sheet okay alpha and beta plated sheet in quaternary they have four d structure okay in secondary they join by the polypeptide polypeptide okay so it says that in mrna molecule means it is initial stage in initial stage of mrna that amino acids join by the polypeptide bond that is a primary structure of protein primary structure of protein is going to be the answer okay now let's go for, go for the next question the next question says that uh, auscultation shows the pathological noise in the second intercostal region near the sternum what wall is likely to be damaged if you remember in the class i told you that it is the aortic wall but those who don't know i can't uh, uh, visualize here because i gave the beautiful picture of aortic wall there so i will recommend you to go to watch that video to assume it i can give here a rough diagram that uh, there is tricuspid wall there is bicuspid wall okay there is aorta aortic wall sorry aortic wall and uh, what remaining tricuspid like uh, mitral pulmonary wall actually pulmonary wall present here and if it is like uh, this one is uh, this one is like your lungs so it is talking about this part so here it is this part is second so second part is auscultating so it is aortic wall so from we are talking about like 15 question this question okay seems interesting i'll discuss in the next in the next video thank you